First of all, choose a character you want to edit. For this tutorial we will change the which I recommend to sort all the needed files so modding them will be easier and less confusing. All the characters attacks are in the Qtins folder, and there are two files for each character. One for two players and one for four players. I will add the rest of the original files for character portrait, sounds, etc. in the description. Those files will contain all characters, so you will have to find them yourself after extracting them. Create a folder and call it whatever you want to extract the files into. In this case we will call it extract. Now drag and drop the witch's file into the extract.simd. A pop-up asks you where to extract the files to. Type in the name of folder you just created. In our case it's called extract. Open up Photoshop. There are now a bunch of files. We are mainly looking at the DDS files since those are the textures. Some textures have E and F in their name. Those are effects. In our case we will skip them. Now drag and drop the textures into Photoshop and don't tick the alpha channel. Gonna remove real quick accidentally imported effect files. Now export the textures as PNG to edit them in another program. If you want you can also edit them in Photoshop without exporting them. Oh ho 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 yes that's some piece of art. Ahem. Drag and drop your edited texture into Photoshop and overwrite the original file after saving them as DDS. Make sure to follow the settings here to export them correctly. Repeat the steps for the other textures. I will use this last texture to show an example in case you want to create textures in higher resolution. After changing the size of the original texture, drag and drop your texture which also has a higher resolution. Now repeat the export process. Now we are all set to repack the witch's files. Make sure to copy the original name of the witch's file. Delete the file afterwards. Then drag and drop the extract folder into create.smd. Now paste the name you just copied. And the new file got created. 
drag and drop this new file into your Puyo Puyo Tetris 2 Qtins folder. It's time for a test. I'm getting hungry. You can't get hungry, you are a bot. And you have no feelings. Okay it's working and it looks, kinda, well. It looks disgusting and you have no taste for art. That's a mirror you are looking at. Now let's clean up the extract folder and move on to editing the names in character select. First find and copy the text file which is located in the text folder. Obviously it's in the text folder. Where else would it be? Will you shut up? Extract the file the same way we did with the textures. Now copy this file and drag it into the text editor. All tools are in the description by the way. An XML file is created which you can open with any text editor like Notepad. This file contains the names and the descriptions in character select. What a brilliant name. You have so good ideas. Kidding you suck. I have a friend called Crowbar. Wanna meet him? Also for so reason the names of some characters are twice in the list. Make sure to change them both. That doesn't even make sense. You hear yourself? <coughs> Ouch, what the hell? Well. We won't hear from this bot again. When you are finished just drag and drop the XML back into the text editor and replace the updated file with the one in the extract folder. Then again, copy the name of the original file and delete the original file afterwards. Drag and drop the extract folder into create.cmd and paste the just copied name. Replace the new created file with the original file. Now it's time to test. Again. I am very patient. So take your time. Last thing we gotta do is editing sound files. For voices make sure all files are in W. A, V. Locate the voice files in the sound folder. Again we use the witch's voice as an example. Open up the Eternity Audio tool and open the sound file. Locate the witch's voice and right click. Then replace the voice with one of your W. A. V. Files. Don't loop the file, so hit the right button and save.
replace the original file and test it. I'm not able to test it, because I'm derp and I forgot to turn on the volume. In the sound folder there are also the character's voice lines for attacks. Each character has four files. English, Japanese and their alternative voices. And that's it. Time to eat. 